Hi everyone, this is Galo from Outline Planner. Thank you so much for trying the 2022 Outline Planner. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download this planner from the vault on your iPad and import it inside the annotation file. I'm going to use Noteshelf and GoodNotes for this video. First of all, go on outlineplanners.com slash login to add your email address and the password you have received in the email confirmation. If you ever forget that password, just click forgot password and add a new one. Let's start. Once you log in, make sure that you click the blue button to join the Facebook group for more support and then slide the page and find the 2022 outline planner tab click the plus sign and then click the orange link which says click to get the download links and you will be directed to the page where you can download the planner. On this page you have a few details about the planner but the most important part is this one here where you have the download links. Please don't forget to check the download instructions here at the bottom. There are actually two options uh, you can use to download the planner. The first one always works. This is something I recommend. The second one doesn't always work. I'm going to show you the first option first. But before I start downloading the planners, keep in mind that you have op uh, eight options to choose from. The first four options are portrait planners while the last four are horizontal planners. So based on how you are using your iPad, choose between portrait and horizontal. Notice of this Monday and Sunday, uh, the beginning of the title. So you have to choose between a Monday calendar and the Sunday calendar start. And for each of these options, you also have the option to choose the type of background. So if you see here the dark at the end of the title of the file, it means that this particular file is having a dark background. And if there is no dark at the end of the file, it means that the file has a white background. I'm going to choose the white background for the portrait Monday Start Planner. And to download it, I'm going to tap it once. In a few seconds, the planner will open inside the browser. So now let's tap this small icon on the top of the screen. It's a share button and slide below and you should find the save to files option. Click that one and you will be directed to save your file on the iPad. I will save my file on my iPad folder inside the downloads folder and inside this folder I have created a dedicated folder just for video resources. So I have this one selected and I'm going to hit save. At this point the file is on my iPad and I'm going to go and check it with you on my iPad, downloads folder, video resources and today is this one here. Perfect. Let's go to the app now. I'm going to start with note shelf and I have created a category which is called videos where I'm going to put my file plus import document. And then today is this one, Monday 2022. Just a second and the file will get imported. Now tap it once. And here it is, the file, it's working and you can start navigating it. Now let me show you how to import this inside GoodNotes. Open the app. Since I don't use it so much, it's kind of a chaos here. So I'm going to pick any folder and tap plus, then import. And again, I'm going to go to downloads and locate my file was today, this one. It takes a bit more time to import a PDF file inside GoodNotes. Some of, some of the times you might get even an error. So please do this step again, if that happens. This is the planner. The planner opens automatically and you can slide the pages. Um, in GoodNotes, you can't use the links just yet. You see how 
I actually add some white dots. That, that is because the planner opens in the editing view and you have to be in the viewing mode in order to use the hyperlinks. So what you have to do is click on this small pen here that is crossed. So click it once and now you are in the viewing mode and you can actually start using the links. There is something else you should know about GoodNotes and then I'm going to show you in NoteShelf as well. You can change the vertical navigation. To do so, click this small three dots here and choose between horizontal and vertical view. If you choose to vertical, the planner will go like this. In NoteShelf, if you want to choose a different scrolling, you just click here where it's the notebook option and then scrolling and choose vertical or horizontal and the change will apply just like that.